Hi, this video is part six on the logarithm series. Uh, so let's jump into these problems and let's solve them. So in this first problem, you have four raised to the log four base three plus log nine to the base three. And we wanna solve it, we wanna find out what, what's this actual value. So, so how would we add these, how would we even do this? So, I mean, you look at it and you're like, oh gosh, there's logs in the exponent, Oof. how do we do that? Well. Uh, the way you do that is first let's start off and combine these two and, do, and you can combine them because they have similar bases you notice this has a base 3 and this has base 3 since they have the same base you can combine them so let's go ahead and do that so now let's say it's 4 uh, and this is how you would combine it you would say log of base 3 since it's the same base you could do that and then when you combine those two you say 4 times 9 because since it's a positive, since you're adding, adding these two together, you multiply the interior portion together. And that's going to give you 4 log of uh, 36 base 3. And then in order to solve that, I would just change, I would change that to uh, 4, uh, uh, oops, I need a little more space. So I'm just going to write it over here. So I would rewrite the, the natural log to, or the log to the natural log. Uh, I need more space still. Sorry. Okay, so I would change it to the natural log of 36 divided by the natural log of 3. And after you put that into your calculator, you're going to find that the natural log of 36 divided by the natural log of 3 you're going to get 3.262 so 4 3.262 and that's what you would do that and then you know you could put this into your calculator as well 4 raises the 3.26 power and that's going to give you a value of 92.01 about 92.01 and that's your answer and that's 92.01 is equal to 4 raised to these two logs Let's go on to the second problem. Here you go. Now, how would you solve this? Now, you look at it and you see that e, and then it's raised to the 4 times the natural log of 5. So, I mean, how do we do that? Uh, the first thing you do is you actually, you're going to move the 4 in, into these brackets, or into these uh, parentheses. So, you would get e to the natural log of 5 raised to the 4th power. And the reason you can do that is because if you have... Uh, of this property of the natural log that can be rewritten as ln of x to the r and that's just the property of the natural log so uh, it comes in handy uh, so here at this point you get the, the natural log raised to uh, the natural log of 5 raised to the fourth power but when you have e and ln like this they cancel out and so you're left with 5 raised to the fourth power which is equal to 625 uh, yeah, and that's how you would do that one. So let's go on to the next one. Now, for this one, uh, I want you to try and combine them first, and then after you combine them, to solve for the, for the final value. So go ahead and pause it, try to work it out. Uh, and I assume you already did that, so I'm going to go ahead and, and work out this problem now. So, uh, again, here you have the 3 in the front. And when you ever have a number right in front of the natural log, you could always put it up here to the exponent. And it makes it uh, simpler sometimes. So let's do that. So the natural log of 3 raised to the 3 power, or cubed, that's just putting this right up there, minus the natural log of 5. And so since now at this point you could, uh, in order to combine into a single logarithm, what you could do is, since it's a negative, and for this property, if you have the natural log of, let's say, x minus the natural log of y, that, that can be rewritten as the natural log of x divided by y. And so that's what we're going to do over here. So here we're going to just write the natural log of 3 cubed over 5. And, uh, and that's, that's that answer. Now in order to get the final answer, you'd have to type that into your calculator to get that. And that's going to be, hold on a second. Uh, that's going to be equal to, so the natural log of 
3 cubed divided by 5 is equal to 1.686. And there you go. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it. Um, and uh, good luck in your classes.